Hello everyone. Welcome to Power System Protection course. In this lecture, we will discuss about protection of parallel feeders and as well as protection of train mains. First, we shall take up the first topic that is uh, protection of parallel feeders. So, this is the protective scheme used for the parallel feeders. So here we have the two feeders, two parallel feeders. So the overcurrent protective scheme for the parallel feeders is shown in this figure. At the sending end of the feeder, that is at uh, A and B locations, non-directional relays are required. The non-directional relays are uh, represented by this symbol that is double side arrow. Uh, both A and B are non-directional. We will see why the non-directional relays are used here. And at the other end of the feeders, at the other end of the feeders, uh, that is C and D locations, the directional relays are required. So the single arrow indicates it is a directional relay, and the directional relay will operate when the current is flowing in the the arrow direction. When the current is flowing in the arrow direction, then only the relay will operate. So for a feeder, if you consider for one feeder, we have one directional relay and one non-directional. This is non-directional relay. You see. Directional relay. So let us consider if there is any fault at the feeder BD. Uh, feeder BD, there is a fault here. There is a fault here. So when the fault occurs, what happens? The current will flow towards the faulty part. So the since we are using a non-directional relay at the B location, the current will flow to the uh, faulty part, and the current is flowing in the A. That is, it is non-directional. The current is flowing in C also, but the current, if the current flows in this direction, that is arrow direction, then only C will trip. Okay, but the current is flowing in this direction now. Current is flowing in this direction, so the C will not trip since it is a directional relay. Current is flowing as the normal. The current is flowing normal, so the uh, C will not trip. But in the D. Uh, this is the normal direction for the uh, directional relay at D, but now the current is flowing in this direction. Since the occurrence of the fault here, the all the current will flow towards the faulty part. So fault point. Uh, since the current direction at the D is changed now, so the D trips here, D trips here, and as well as the non-directional relay at B, B trips thereby. Disconnects the uh, faulty feeder and the healthy feeder continues to uh, give the supply to the loads. So by using this kind of protection, we can we can uh, reliably uh, uh, we can reliably uh, we can reliably apply the continuous supply to the consumers. So only the faulty faulty part that is the faulty feeder. Will get trip that is B and D. If if suppose the fault occurs on feeder AC, let us uh, say feeder AC, then the non-directional relay A, non-directional relay B here, the all the current flows towards like this. Then the direction at the uh, D will be normal, so D will not trip, but C will be opposite. Uh, it is uh, towards the arrow, so the uh, C will trip and A will trip. It will isolate the faulty feeder. The supply will be continuous through the another parallel feeder. So this is how the uh, parallel feeders are protected. Next we have the protection of the ring mains. So protection of the ring mains. Let us see the diagram of the ring main. So here you can observe this is a ring main system. Here we have the four feeders here. The same arrangement is, arrangement is shown here for understanding purpose. Same thing. So this diagram shows the uh, overcurrent scheme for the protection of the ring feeder. So here you can observe for every feeder uh, there are there is one non-directional relay, one Directional relay, one non-directional relay, one directional relay. For every feeder, it is like that. So 
one directional relay one non directional relay so section feeder ab feeder ab has one non directional one directional feeder b dash c this is non directional this is directional feeder c dash d dash this is directional this is non directional similarly feeder a dash and d uh, this is non directional and this is directional let us say there is fault at the feeder d dash and c dash uh, the fault point is indicated here there is fault here then what happens all the currents in the ring system will try to flow towards the fault part faulty part so in such cases the relay here uh, a it is non directional the directional relay here it the b since it is uh, current is normal uh, b will not trip and uh, b dash is no, non directional c is directional since current is flowing in normal direction the if the current flows in opposite direction then only c will trip right current flows in this direction then only c will trip but here now c will not trip and uh, c dash is non directional okay and if we come in this this way that is a dash is non directional d is directional uh directional relay trip will trip only if the current is flowing in this direction but the, now the current is flowing in this direction okay so the d will also not trip d will sorry d in this uh, the, uh, d will also not trip but here the non directional relay present here non directional relay present here uh will trip and the directional relay at c dash directional relay at c dash the since the current is flowing in this direction uh, that is same as the arrow direction the directional relay present at the c dash will trip and uh, d dash non directional relay will trip thereby the faulty feeder faulty feeder will be uh, disconnected from the ring mains thereby the supply will be continuous to the uh, with the help of the other feeders the same thing is represented here in simple form uh, the same thing is shown with a uh, even greater number of feeders here we have four number of feeders here we have can of the we have six number of feeders so this is how the uh, ring mains are protected in the power system so here you can observe we have the uh, time uh, operating time of each directional and non directional relays so that is about the production of the parallel feeder and uh, production of the ring mains thanks for watching